I was inspired by the latest M365 AMA panel with Sherry Oswald, Kirsty McGrath, and Christian Buckley talking about, can you resist editing access for columns in a SharePoint list? And I have an alternate approach for you to consider. Our example scenario is that we have a product team and a sales team, and they wanna create a centralized place to track product offerings, price, and sales. Now I'll pause here just to say, I don't recommend building this in SharePoint Online necessarily. There are a lot of off the shelf systems that could probably better support product and order management, but I wanna use this as a simple example. The product team should not have access to edit the orders and the sales team should not have access to edit the products or price. So the product and sales team came to me and said, we created a list in our team site and we want to put in the purchase order number, the quantity, the title of the product and the cost. But again, we only want the product team to be able to enter the product titles and the cost, and we only want the sales team to be able to enter in the quantity and the purchase order number. Well, out of the box, no, we cannot limit the ability for one person to edit one of these columns and not the others. But consider your backend data structure. You might wanna move forward with two related lists. So for example, First, we created a product list where we have the title of the products and their cost. Now, the next step we want to do is to make sure that only the product team has edit access to this list and the sales team has view access. So let's go to the list settings, permissions for this list, and then we're going to stop inheriting permissions. We're gonna edit the sales team permissions to only be read. And then we're gonna add in the permissions for our product team. To be editors. Great. So now I can see on my product list, I have items populated, I have the right permissions, but we need to connect this with the orders list. Now the orders list is going to be edited by the sales team only. They need to enter the purchase order number and the quantity. Let's first check the permissions on the list settings to ensure that we have the correct access here. We do want the sales team members to edit, so this is correct, but let's also add in the product team so that they have access to view. Great. So now we have the correct permissions, but we don't have the connection from the orders list to the product list. So let's create a lookup column. We're gonna go back to those list settings again. We're going to create a column and we're gonna name this column product. We're gonna make it a lookup column. Get the list from the product list. We want the title of the product, but we also want to bring over the cost. We're going to add it to our content type and our default view. We'll select OK. Now there's one more edit that I like to make. SharePoint shows us that we brought over this column based off of product. That's not necessarily important to our audience, so I'm just going to delete out that additional text to make it a little cleaner. Now let's navigate back to our orders list and see what this experience is like. So I'm a sales team member. I just got my first ever purchase order and someone wants to buy two lanterns. Now you can see I can select from that product list, but I can't edit it or interact with it in any way and change the values. Once I select save, you will see I have information for the lantern and the cost. It even gives me this handy hyperlink to the item in the product list where I can see all additional information about it. Now, this is a very simple example for how you can control restricting editing access for certain columns in a SharePoint list. There's also other approaches like maybe the product list should be a term set in the term store. I hope this gives you some ideas to consider for the future as you're trying to control who has access to edit which columns.